Shalom and welcome. Today is day 29 of Renewing Your Mind with Scripture. And today's passage is Psalm 119 verse 165. It says, Great peace have those loving your Torah. And for them there is no stumbling block. You know, many times we get fear and anxiety because it's a natural result of doing things that is against our Father's laws when we're living outside of his, his fence of protection. And Father loved us so much that he entered into that covenant. A covenant means that you've got to do something and then I will do something. He wants to bless you. He wants to protect you. He wants to give you peace. And we can only experience that peace when we are staying righteous and staying loyal to his Torah and walking in, in that righteousness. And remember, there's a difference between being perfect and being righteous. Perfect is the way man pictures it to be. And we'll never be perfect. We'll, we will make mistakes. We are, it's, it's about how, where's your heart at? How quick are you to repent? And I think many times when things keep going wrong, when we're getting fear and anxiety, we need to ask our Father for the Holy Spirit to guide us and lead us on what is it that we have not submitted before our Father. Where is it that we have given the enemy access to test and tempt us? Because Yeshua only allows tempting or testing to bring the flesh to submission. So if there's chaos in your life, Go and ask yourself, where is it that I'm not in alignment with the Torah? This is very, very important because, yes, we are going to be attacked. So you've got to use discernment. Many times we go through when we're walking on the straight and narrow and you're going to see the path is narrower and narrower. The more you obey, the more Father shows you more things that you need to bring in alignment. And the closer you you walking to what you're called to do and in righteousness you are going to be attacked there is going to be conflict but in that conflict you're going to feel peace because you're going to know that you're being attacked as they're not attacking you they're attacking the spirit in you like Yeshua said if they attack you they're actually attacking me and that is what's happening but then you're going to experience peace not fear and anxiety So when there's fear and anxiety, then you know that you've got to go before Father and go, okay, please show me where I have not submitted my flesh to you and where I have stepped off the path of righteousness. So I hope this helps you. And I really want you to focus that. Remember, this is supposed to be a joy. It says great peace of those living in your Torah. There's supposed to be joy and peace. Let's pray. Father, I need your peace. I want your peace. And today I purpose and declare that I will follow your ways in every aspect that I know. When I feel troubled, I will tune in to your Holy Spirit within me and check my own heart for rebellion. I will follow your Spirit's direction to bring my life back into alignment with your ways, trusting that you always know what is best for me. I purpose to follow you always. In the mighty name of Yeshua, Amen. May you be blessed and I'll see you tomorrow. Shalom.